Welcome back to Canarium. So, we got a couple things in our inventory. We got a handle. And we got a key. The name is Johan DeWitt. I think that's what we're going to be looking for. Maybe a door or a locker? I don't know. Let's take a look at this first, though. It's a note. Oh, sweet. I know we're close to what we've been looking for during the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room. Feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing towards the destination we seek. This could mean we now are in sync with the ancient source. A wearable canarium. Those are the wristwatch thingies that are actually a hand watch. Cool, cool. We're carrying on our left arms. It uh, connects us and then receives sensations. Cuckoo from the ancient source. What the heck is the ancient source and the great beyond? I have so many questions. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial... Oh, okay, so it's an alien, alien thing. Cool. Cool. I always love it when things end in alien. The Antarctic. Cool. After our haphazard momentary area exploration of the unholy and utterly cyclopean, cyclopean maze square, curved and angled blocks, we detected most of the locations revealed by the previous Mesocatonic University expedition leader, the Professor Amentarius William Dyer. Why do they gotta have such confusing names in this? But what are we looking for? It's not there inside the haunted Shagoth ruins. According to the various sources, should be in the older ruins, beyond the Elder City. Right on the edge of the mountain, by the Mountains of Madness. It was built over a location deeply shunned by the Elder Things. <laughs> and built before the colossal city of the Dr. Dreyer and his team explored. Now we set out on foot. Cool. So we're exploring the place. And we don't find anything Nothing um, within the Elder City. It is depicted with obvious repugnance and trepidation. All right, cool. Sounds like a cool place, man. Sounds like a real cool place. Those are the aliens, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's like some alien tech. I'm not really sure yet. But my guess is they tested it out with me. And maybe use my brain cells or no no my brain waves? Yeah, it's gotta be my brain waves, totally. Sis. Yeah, definitely gotta be my brain waves. What'd I tell you? I'm a genius. Let's get out of here, boy. Alright, let's go find that door or locker. James Barlow. Okay, he's gotta be around here somewhere, man. James DeWitt. I mean uh I mean uh DeWitt somebody. It's definitely not in here, but there's gotta be some lockers around here somewhere. Aha! James Barlow. It's probably locked yet. Yeah. Locked. Locked. Oh, hey! H. Anderson. Nikolai Gagal. The portrait. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? Wherever his coat is not. Ooh, pencils. What a nerd! It's locked. Ooh, what do we got? I've noticed a very curious change um, and it's dangerous development in the psychological condition of the whole crew. And it compels me to record the note as an initial diagnosis report. The problem is, especially in intense for three subjects, Dr. Barlow, Dr. Anderson, and Frank Gilman, who I've been inspecting closely since the onset of the psychological degradation. During the past two months, the aforementioned subjects awoke, screaming in their beds, and thus affecting and demoralizing all the crew members. When I spoke to them personally, I noticed that serious deviations in their behavior and patterns. As time progressed, I noted deep changes in their mental conditions. When really pushed, they clearly started to behave like someone else, which led me to believe I was facing a sort of multiple personality disorder, but it's too early to draw conclusions, even though they're clearly acting like somebody else and they have different personalities. I mean, it's too early, man. 
Their condition is getting worse by the day, and the severe medical exponent um, is needed to carry out and display. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Weather conditions are getting shitty. Sweet. Nothing like a good old oh, shitty weather conditions. Right Where is he now? Wherever his coat is not. Holy shit. Potatoes. Potatoes everywhere. Potatoes. 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 Actually, they don't really look like potatoes. Can I please pick a map? I want to pick a map, dude. Oh, it's a little guy. He's got a flower. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? Is just right here. Where is he what have I been telling you? Wow. Damn it. Alright, cool. Well, I've got my trusty little handle. I think I'm going to go to where the elevator is. My problem is I don't really remember where that is. I forget. Dr. Faust. Ooh, I should take a rip in there. Damn it, it's locked. That's probably where he's at. That's where I would be. Just chilling in my room. Listening to some fat beatsies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey there. Give me some help, baby. Oh, no. Everything's locked. What is this? There's got to be, like, a key place around here somewhere. I need keys, man. I need keys. This is always my life right now. I always need keys, and I don't know why I need so many keys for everything. Well, that's because I need doors. Well, I have doors. Ooh, man, I could totally go for a pair. Oh, man, put them on. Put them on, you man. Son of a bitch. I could totally use those out in the snow. That would make it a lot easier to get around. Yeah, yeah. That's where we want to go. All right, so we're going to the elevator. Where is the elevator, you say? It is down here. Can I please take my flashlight? I seem to have dropped it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's totally back here. Never mind. <laughs> I lied. Just kidding. Double lie. Down we go. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Where's the elevator music? You gonna leave a brother hanging? There's always got to be elevator music. No matter how boring it is, there's got to be elevator music. Come on. What is this? This welfare? This is a government project. Come on. I expect elevator music. I want to be entertained. Okay, I'm out of here. This place was whack. This elevator ride sucked. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Tree? You don't need me. You know what? I don't like the look in your eye. I'm going to get some pesticides. Taking you down, boy. I kind of wish I could see the name of that tree. I think it has a name. Alexander. That's a good name for tree. Okay. All right. I don't know, but we're going to use the handle, man. Oh, what do we have here? Nothing, damn it. Nothing that I need anyway. What's this? It's a flower. And it's friggin' cre Oh kitty Yeah What's up, Mr. Midnight? What's up, dude? Can I pet him? Please let me pet him. Oh, I can't pet him, no, dude. What? Probably shouldn't have touched that. That was a bad idea. That was such a bad idea. Get me, get me out of here. 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 Oh man, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That was great. Great, great, great. I'm so smart. So intelligent. Great, great. Perfect. So, what? Show me the way, Mr. Snuggles. Mr. Snuggles, show me the way. <gasps> Maybe I could turn on my radio. Oh, shit. Come on, use the radio, man. I can totally hear stuff. Let's see. This is Frank Gilman from Upperwatt Antarctic Expedition. Over. I think I'm hearing things. 
They may be out of reach. They may be out of reach. Bunch of weed plants. Where is that? What is that noise? It must be coming from here. Mr. Snuggles, shut up. Oh man, I think I'm high. I think I'm high, dude. Something something bad is happening right now. Oh, Mr. Snuggles. Mr. Snuggles. Mr. Snuggles is oh. Okay. Bad plant. Bad plant. I'm just gonna let you do your thing. Alright? I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna vacate the room. I'm just gonna close this door because I yeah 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 I wanna close the door. I don't I didn't want this to happen. Oh no, 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 Dr. Faust! Why? It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. It's definitely Dr. Faust, man. Alright, alright. Oh, what? A key? For me? Sick, yeah, I'm taking it. You're damn right, he won't need it anymore. We finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building, we've researched the link to the elevator. That magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris, and most probably it could have been written in the earliest pages of history. So these are all just plants then? Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. Yeah, they definitely look pre-human. They look like flower seeds. Oh, yes. These are the pre-human species we found frozen in a cave far south of the base. That would be so cool to find. Like, literally, if you could find something like that in just frozen in ice. That'd be so cool. It's pretty much finding... If, if I find a penny frozen in ice, it's cool, man. Alright, so that was fun. I got a key. What's it for, though? I found this key on a frozen corpse inside the Upwat base freezer room. And I have no idea what it does or where it goes. Perfect. Just, I always, I've always wanted a key. It won't open. You know, it'd be nice if it was the master key. The key for every door in this place. Why can't I get a break, man? <gasps> There's definitely, come on, the radio, the radio, man. Found a key. It's such a good little key. It's in my pocket. And, uh, um, it has no markings on it, so I don't know what to do with it. Well, there's only two doors, so let's try this one. I think it's for one of the- Oh, yeah. I was totally wrong on what I thought it was going to be for. I thought it was going to be for one of the lockers, but no. What the hell is going on? I'm, I'm so high right now. I don't even know where to go. Give me that. Ooh, cool. Looks like a little octopus. What? Leave. No more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. That is so cool. I think you should retire to your room. I, I am going to think a bit more. Is that Dr. Faust? That is so cool. I am loving this game. What is this flower anyway? It's like some kind of hallucinogen or something? Oh, that's so cool! Antarctica. Oh, there's a map right there. Maybe it'll show like the mountains of madness and everything. Totally, that's so cool. Agatha. Hmm. Antarctica, the southernmost continent in the site of the South Pole. It's virtually uninhabited. Ice-covered landmass. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, 
which stretches towards South America. It's known as the Lemire Channel and Paradise Harbor, striking the iceberg flanked passageways Port Lockroy, a former British research station turned museum. The peninsula's isolated terrain also shelters rich wildlife, including many penguins. The rest of the text is unintelligible. Agatha, some markings on the Antarctic map. Cool, man, cool. What else we got in here? Ooh, some skulls. Awesome. Aw, oh, man, what time is it? It is... 6, 7, 8.30. My bad. I'm horrible with analog clocks. Wait, where did their... Where did the chins go, man? Hashtag no chin, yo. Maybe there's something on the bottom. Okay, man, baby. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, cool, man, cool. I actually used to have a concrete skull. Someone gave it to me. They went down to Mexico, and they went... There was, like, some wall of skulls or some temple. Anyway, some guy was selling concrete skulls. It was pretty sweet. Oh, uh, hello? It's, is any, anybody home? Uh, hello? Anybody there? What is going on there? <laughs> okay, that's showing a different time. So that clock stopped at 10, 10. wonder if there's anything significant about that. Probably not. Probably not at all. This house is so creepy. Dr. Faust, what happened to your host? Rot. Dern. <gasps> cool. Let me pick that up, seriously. Aw, oh, bummer. Aw, oh, man. Anybody got a key? What about here? Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, no, that one's, that's, that's a creepy hallway. I don't want to go that way. What about this one? Oh, no. No, I don't want to go this way. But I must. Yo, can you shut up? I'm trying to be quiet. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? I don't know. Dude, no. I don't want it to touch me. Don't let it. Don't let it touch me. Is there... Is it, somebody help. Help. The blanket of darkness. Then red this. Then whiteness. That is so 2006. Hey. Somehow, I made it back to the office. The journal has been updated. Cool. What the hell is that? Is that some kind of alien? Dude, I'm keeping that, and I'm looking at it later. <gasps> Finally, the handle! Oh my god, I've been waiting so long to get this handle. Thank you, mysterious giants, aliens from the other universe of the Mountains of Madness. I think I'm going mad. That is actually a really good looking map. So apparently this story has really has something to do with the Mountains of Madness. That's so awesome. I really like it when um, games take real life stories. It, it just makes it so much creepier, man. Way more creepy. Oh no. Don't you dare. Don't you... You be nice now. Hey. Hey. Copeland. Copeland, you be nice. Okay, I guess I'm going to that elevator. I want to check out the name of this tree, though. Glossopteris? What the... Why do scientists always got to pick such weird names for things? Oh, yeah. The moment we've been waiting for. No, you had your chance to talk last time. You can shut up. Right. I don't know if you can hear me, but... I am trying to... To the only way. The only way for what? Am I high right now? I think I'm high. Hey! Hey, can you hear me? I, th I think it was Dr. Faust. Yeah, that's, that must have been him, dude. 
Dr. Faust, I already told you. Okay, let's go! Wait, what? I think I'm trying to go up. Yeah! Da na 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 now 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 oh I'm going in the tower sweet okay sweet man this tower this tower right here man this is badass oh Hey man, hey, hey stop that. Stop that, stop that. Wait, is that, a, is that a chick? She looks kinda hot through all the blurry static. Oh hey! Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms. And thus, weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. Doc Whoa, Dr. Faust, where'd you go, dude? Okay, so... I guess the mysteries are left up to me. And only look at that huge crystal. Let me have it. I'm gonna be so rich when I get back home. You guys have no idea. I'm gonna be a billionaire. Ah. What's that? So this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. Pretty sure if there actually was one of these in the Antarctic, it'd be pretty easy to see. And I'm pretty sure so this is a this lighthouse. Is light can be seen from ground level. Man, if lighthouses actually looked like this, oh my god, they would be so cool. There used to be one in the pyramids, I guess. There used to be one here, and one, okay, so that must be here. That one's another temple. I can't really see what those are. And my flashlight does not work, just when I want it most. And I think there's one in Greece. I can't tell where else. That must be Jerusalem, I think. I don't know. Hard to tell. Since I can't see anything. Now we're going down. Down, down, down in the burning ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. All right, so where else can we go? We can go all the way down to the cavern entrance, or I can go out to the base. So where am I at right now? Okay, so this is the base. So I'm going to go down. One more. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. And we're going down, down, down. Down, 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 down. The ring of... Oh, shit, there's more lights down here, too. Yes. Hey, anyone here? Dr. James? Can I live Dr. here, please? Morgan? Anybody? This is, the, this is, without the doubt, the coolest place Where I've ever seen they, in my life. Sake. They're up your butt. Well, I don't think they're down here. But somebody is. <gasps> There's something down here with me. I better be quiet. I better be quiet. 
There's something here. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, take it easy. I'm not here to hurt you, little fella. Just come out, I just wanna talk. I just wanna talk. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Pretty sure I'm gonna need this. There's something scary down here. There's some strange vegetation filling most- <gasps> It's gonna be the flower! As an amazing as it is deadly. There is a hidden world right beneath the upwat base, and even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly poisonous gas, seeming to come from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near from any of these plants, and they came across in any of those caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that the individual vines grow, and they shrink on demand. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air or currents. And this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. It has a brain! It's alive! This may sound strange, but I have a notion. This is conscious, at least on some level. <gasps> That's not what I wanted to hear. It's not ideally what I wanted to hear. There's a plant somewhere down here with me. It's trying to kill me. Can I can I just chop through this? Man, I'm stuck. I don't want to be down here. Shh, stop that. I'd rather be out in the freezing cold wasteland that is Antarctica than down here stuck with a plant. Ready to kill me at any s- <gasps> Oh my god, there it is. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, just keep the light on it. Keep the light on it. I don't want to alarm it. Okay, get the axe. Yeah, baby. We're using this sucker. Can I please chop this plant down? So chop the shit out of it! So if I chop it, that means I'm gonna die. Like, if I hit this, I'm gonna be poisoned to death. So I'm gonna need something to, like, light it on fire. Oh, well, there's plenty of fire here. I mean, that would work. Oh, E for equip. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah! I'm about to do some damage! You boys ready? So... Hmm. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. But I wanna, I wanna cut it though. I don't care if there's a poisonous gas. So I'm gonna need some kind of gas mask, I guess. I suppose I'll have to get one in one of the lockers in the base. Well, that's where I'm gonna end it right there. We'll see you tomorrow. Adios.